Hello everyone and welcome to our backyard. I wanted to do a short video on our giant milkweed plants and I had done a video about a year ago and we didn't have as many plants then as we do now. And the reason I want to do a video on these is because they're really um, in, in peak form at the moment. I'm going to get closer to one. So the giant milkweed are not native. But they're wonderful plants for um, our 9A climate along the Texas Gulf Coast and they do really well in the summers here and the reason um, these giant milkweed are very attractive to have in the yard is because of the very thick leaves that they have and they can sustain a lot of monarch caterpillars and so through the last three years or so, we have acquired um, and have purchased multiple milkweed plants and they've just been doing so well. Monarchs will lay eggs on them. The caterpillars, in fact, when we raise caterpillars in our enclosures, they predominantly feed on only giant milkweed because we can sustain um, many more many more of um, of the caterpillars with this particular plant most of my giant milkweed plants flower um, a purple flower but I do have a couple that two of them that that will flower white I only have one that's flowering right now so I'm gonna bring it up I don't know how well those flowers showed up on screen um, but they are a fairly large flower but they're very consistent looking with um, with milkweed flowers it's just that they're <laughs> they're a lot larger I'm gonna move back a little Here's this male monarch that I've had in the yard um, with the tattered wing. And I've had females laying eggs, so they've been laying eggs on the... A couple of them have been laying eggs on not only the giants, but also the other types of milkweed that I have in the yard. What we're going to try to do this year is we are going to try to propagate, and we haven't done it yet because it's just been too hot, but we are going to try to propagate these giant milkweed um, plants because they're getting too tall to go into the garage during the winter. Um, the last couple of years, the last couple of winters, we've brought the giants in because they are tropical plants and they will not um, they will not survive I do not think they will survive um, the hard freezes that we've had here south of Houston the last couple of years so um, we're gonna try our hand at propagation I'm gonna go now on the north side um, I do have a couple of plants over there in our north bed and this is um, one of our giants that we've had in a pot now for multiple years 
and when this one flowers, this one flowers a white flower. But again, you can see the leaves are just so large and thick and healthy. And all these giants pretty much sustained our release. We released 108 um, monarch butterflies that we grew from caterpillars in our enclosures um, this spring and early summer. And so um, they were almost all of them were on these giant milkweed. Have any of you tried to grow giant milkweed? I'm curious. If you have, um, let me know in the comments. Let me know your um, challenges or successes you've had with them. I don't hardly have to do anything with them. I have them in full sun and they just haven't even, I haven't even cut them down. And I do believe I need to start to do that. Like this one is a little tall and I know they get really tall. They can get, you know, very, very tall. And I need to start cutting these branches on what we're gonna propagate. Um, I just haven't done that yet. So if any of you have propagated giant milkweed, I'm really interested in what you've done and the success that you've had. You know, these giants are milkweed plants and so they will get aphids on them. You'll notice I don't really have aphids on these over here yet, but on, oh, I guess on the higher branches I do. But what's interesting is the structure of this giant mil milkweed supports a lot of life and there's a lot of um, green anoles that are on them. <laughs> and what's fascinating is they eat, they're those little lizards, and they eat aphids. And we were, my husband and I were watching um, one of the green anoles this morning licking off aphids, just going to town, eating them on one of the giant milkweeds and it's like yep go to it <laughs> that's awesome but when you do have milkweed it is inevitable you will have aphids so i know the lighting is a little bit stark here because it's in the um, early evening and so i apologize for that it's a little more it's a little more difficult to see um, to see these but I did want to come out and show them. Just because of how beautiful the foliage is right now. So I haven't fertilized any of the giant milkweed. And I haven't needed to yet. Even though they are all in pots. I do give them compost in the spring. But I did want to show you, the giants will get aphids, and you can see these yellow aphids here. Um, I don't worry about aphids unless I have a lot of them. And the reason I don't worry about them is because ladybugs, they're food for ladybugs, and then also the green anoles. And when you are a pollinator gardener, um, it's really important to not use pesticides, fungicides, and herbicides um, on the wildlife and on your plants because of everything is symbiotic, right? And you kill both the good and the bad when you're trying to get rid of something. And so you'll notice I don't have a lot but the green anoles and the um, and the ladybugs keep them in check. But I just wanted to point out that you will have um, aphids just like you do on other all other milkweed plants. Milkweed 
is <laughs> an aphid attractor. Even giant milkweed. <laughs> we got a lot here. I do like how it looks. It certainly brings height and it brings a separate interest to the area. They are like, I mean, they can grow to be trees, right? These tree, um, very large like trees. And you'll notice, you know, my fence is six and a half feet tall. That's easily eight feet tall that a couple of those giants have gotten to be. So if you're growing giant milkweed, let me know in the comments your successes. I don't think a lot of people grow giant milkweed. But I did want to let you know for all of the butterfly gardeners out there that do um, want to have food for monarch butterflies, I'm sorry, for monarch caterpillars, this is a good food. And they do um, lay eggs. The butterflies, the monarchs will lay eggs on them and the caterpillars eat giant milkweed. And the other thing too is I've transferred um, caterpillars from say swamp milkweed and aquatic milkweed over to the giants and they don't miss a beat. They just continue to munch and chomp and grow and create their chrysalises and grow into monarch butterflies. And so I've been super, super happy. This is the third year now um, that I have been working with and using giant milkweed and am very, very happy and impressed with what it's doing. Awesome. Let me know in the comments if you're also growing giant milkweed and any successes or challenges that you're finding. Very good. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I hope you can get into your gardens. Hope to see you again soon.